Hello, I'm Googleable. Welcome to your life. Today is beautiful. Please log in. What the investigators found inside NASDAQ shocked them, according to both law enforcement officials and private contractors hired by the company to aid in the investigation. Agents found the tracks of several different groups operating freely, some of which may have been in the exchange's networks for years, including criminal hackers and Chinese cyber spies. Basic records of the daily activity occurring on the company's servers, which would have helped investigators trace the hackers' movements, were almost non-existent. Investigators also discovered that the website run by One Liberty Plaza's building management company had been laced with a Russian-made exploit kit known as Black Hole, infecting tenants who visited the page to pay bills or do other maintenance. What one investigator referred to as the dirty swamp of Nasdaq's computer banks made following the trail of the Russian malware excruciatingly slow. The agents figured the hackers first broke into Nasdaq's computers at least three months before they were detected, but that was just a guess. There were indications that a large cache of data was stolen, though proof was scarce, and it was hard to see what was spirited out. If someone breaks into your house, trying to figure where they went and what they took is pretty difficult, because, unlike a bank, you don't have cameras in your house, you don't have motion sensors, says Jason Syverson, chief executive officer of Siege Technologies, a security firm in Manchester, NH. In terms of cybersecurity, most companies are more like a house than a bank. The agencies left it to NASDAQ to characterize the attack for its customers, regulators, and the public which it did in a brief company statement on February 5th, and again in a regulatory filing a few weeks later. The breach couldn't have come at a worse time for NASDAQ. It was on the verge of trying to acquire the New York Stock Exchange ICE for $11 billion. NASDAQ's email statement gave no indication the attack was serious. The company said the malware had been discovered during a routine scan and that the incursion was limited to a system called Director's Desk, which more than 230 companies used to share financial information among board members. We have no information anything was taken, the statement said. In an interview for this article, NASDAQ spokesman Joseph Christina says our own forensics review of the issue conducted in close cooperation with the U.S. government concluded no proof of exfiltration of data from our director's desk systems. Importantly, 2010 was a watershed moment in our company's commitment to cybersecurity resulting today in an enhanced ability to detect and protect the integrity of our systems, our technology, and market participants. Meanwhile, the investigation into who was behind the attack took a dramatic turn. Unlike a bomb or missile, malware can be reused. Left behind in networks, it can be grabbed by other hackers, reverse engineered and redeployed in the computer banks of subsequent victims to muddy the trail like a killer using someone else's gun. As investigators began examining data on other hacks of government and military computers, there was evidence that the Russians' malware was being used by a sophisticated Chinese cyber spy, also known to have a thriving criminal business on the side. This hacker could have been given the Russian malware or pinched it from inside another computer network and used it to disguise his identity. Some evidence inside an SDAC supported that theory as well. Obama was briefed again, as the probe turned toward Asia. I am tired of this bullshit Russian propaganda. Read under my voice. This is the typical fucking bullshit federal to the population of Russia through diverse media. Fuck those guys and consistent simulation rolling since the first reports of the crash simulation rolling in Ukraine not let me up in an unreality. If I do not read the news based on Kate Dr. Union, and some novel about another conspiracy theory. We're all rattled by the laws of classical works of genius spy novels of Tom Clancy. That he likes to describe the multi-way combinations that led to wars local, at least in the world, as an maximum. Together, let us ponder the oddities of this case. That individual principle do not cause big issues, but taken together, add up to a giant of the local provocation.
today was a wonderful day. Please come back tomorrow. Red. Blue. Green. My check one two. Congratulations. You reject the good enough. You reject words like symbolism and postmodernism. Obsolescence is not part of your vocabulary. Every night, every day, every step of the way. The dictator of fashion.